Hi guys, so just a quick video today. I wanted to give you a spring mushroom foraging tip. So at the end of spring, well around now, anytime around now, and some of them were up a few weeks ago. One of the things that we're looking for as mushroom forages is the St. George's mushroom. Now St. George's mushroom is a grassland mushroom, it's a spring mushroom, so in spring there's not a tremendous amount uh, coming up, but St. George's mushrooms are one of the reliable croppers in the spring. And I wanted to give you a top tip of how you can find them. Now, we are incredibly lucky insofar as we actually have the St. George's mushroom growing in our garden. I have found it out in the wild on a, on a few occasions, but these days I don't tend to go out looking for it because we have it growing in our garden. Now, I've done a St. George's mushroom video, which I will link to in the description. If you want to learn how to identify them and things like that, that will be in the description. But what this video is for is how to find them. Now, there is a great foraging tip. Now, the mushrooms that we forage for, they're just the fruiting body of the plant. So you should think about them the same way that you'd think about an apple on an apple tree. The apple is the mushroom and the tree is growing down under the ground. That's where almost the entire part of the plant is. And how mushrooms work, and it's important to understand this because it's going to help you find them. How mushrooms work is they basically work in symbiosis with other plants. They form connections with other plants and they have this amazing ability to provide plants with the nutrients they need. So mushrooms can spread out over a really wide area. There are some mushroom colonies underground that literally spread for miles and they can connect plants that have a surplus of a nutrient and deliver that nutrient to the plant that's in need of it elsewhere. Now, while I'm talking to you, I've just made my way up into what will be our food forest because this is where, in the past, I found them. When this is the only place, actually, on the property I've found them. However, I've been keeping my eye on somewhere else. So, in the past, I found them up in this top area here. Now, we've had quite a lot of rain lately, and that is a really good sign. So, if you're going to go out looking for mushrooms, you can find mushrooms any day of the year, but you're going to have much more opportunity, you're going to be much more likely to succeed if in the preceding few days you've had a decent amount of rain, like we have here. Now, what I want to show you, if you look behind me there, can you just make out there's a slightly darker, more lush patch of grass? Well, that's one of the signs of mushroom activity below the ground. So if we come over and have a look, I haven't been up here yet today, so I'm not saying that we're going to definitely find something. Can you see the difference in the colour of the grass hair in that strip versus the grass out here? That's because this is the edge of, and look at this. I literally, I haven't come up here yet today. I've only just come up now and I wasn't, <laughs> oh goodness me. I really wasn't expecting to see quite such a big haul. But all of these St. George's mushrooms, goodness me, there are loads of them. So I'm going to harvest some of these now. And if I'd found them, some of them are a little bit old. If I'd found them earlier, we'd have harvested them all. But there's some here that are a bit too old we'll leave behind. But we'll harvest a good deal of these now. So a quick chat on ID. If you find a mushroom at this time of year, now you must do your own research and double check. But if you find a mushroom at this time of year that looks like this, with this pale coloured cap, really important that it has white gills, growing in grassland, and like I said, at the moment it's May, at this time of year, there's not much that it can be that's going to cause you any harm. Like I say, do your own research, and I have done an identification video. Another key feature for this one is the smell. It smells like flour, as in uh, cooking flour. I'm really, I'm so, I'm just thrilled because I, I started this video 10 minutes ago. I was not expecting actually to find this massive haul of them up here. But uh, like I said, I'm going to harvest these. Then I'm going to take you somewhere else and show you how I found them somewhere else this year for the first time because I've been keeping an eye on a certain area before they ever came up. I've got some really little guys. I don't know if you can make them out down here, but there's lots more still coming up out the ground. So we'll come back in a few days, and if we're lucky, we'll be able to harvest some more. So these guys here that have been out for a little bit longer, you'll see how the stems are full of little hollows. They're going to be very, very infested with bugs that have eaten all through the top, and that's what causes that discoloration on the top. 
So we'll leave those guys. So this here, with all that discoloration on the top, we'll leave that, but I think these ones over here will be okay. Whenever you find St. George's mushrooms, it's really worth checking around in a, you know, in a fairly wide circle because you'll quite often find little patches of them growing next to the last patch that you harvested. There's a, oh, there's a little patch down here, look. Again, we'll leave those little ones. Okay, that's it for this little area then. But that's quite a haul. So now I want to go and show you something else, which is how you can spot them. It's really a, a nice little trick. Now, another top tip for any kind of foraging is never leave your home without some carrier bags or something similar. And I never, ever, ever leave the home without a carrier bag in my pocket. But I haven't left my home, so I didn't have anything to put them in. But luckily, I found a plant pot. So these are the ones I've just collected. And if you look down here, so this is one of the areas I've been keeping an eye on. Can you see in front of me, you see that lush patch of grass just there? So that's a really good sign that there's fungi underneath the ground there. And at this time of year, that sign in the grass could, could, it doesn't necessarily, but could mean St. George's mushrooms at any time. And if you can see, it starts to form a bit of a ring. So I know that there's mushrooms under the ground. I've been keeping an eye on it. And what prompted me to make this video and then go up and check that other spot where I found them before is we finally found this guy, I hadn't pulled it up, but lo and behold, another St. George's mushroom. Mm. And we've got two or three other patches like this that I haven't checked yet today, but that I have been keeping an eye on over the last few weeks. So this obviously is a, an area that we walk through all the time. We're coming through here every day. So there's two or three little patches of these rings of lush grass that they get walked on every day. And look, here's the next one. I don't know if you can make it out, this ring of different colored grass here, but look how I've missed this guy over the last couple of days. I've no idea. He's been a bit eaten. He's almost hollow. But oh, look, more here. Again, a bit eaten. But it's clearly St. George's mushroom time and they'll be popping up everywhere. So there's a few more little rings to check. You know, I'm just talking about that, that lush colored grass. There's one, the other side of this paddock, which is somewhere we don't walk or I don't walk very often at all. So I'm gonna go and check that one next. In fact, there's two, I think there's one at either end. So these two little rings that I'm gonna check out, I've never, ever, ever seen a mushroom there. For whatever reason, I've either missed them or they haven't fruited there because they don't fruit every year necessarily. And some, you know, they can fruit and be gone within a few days. So it's quite possible I've just missed them, but I've never seen a mushroom there before. But if they are St. George's mushrooms, I'm fully expecting to see them right now because they're obviously popping up on the property, you know, wherever, wherever we are, the climate right now is just right for St. George's mushrooms to pop up. So let's check them out. I'm trying to think where they are. They're all through here, but this grass is a little bit longer. So it's a bit tougher to see the, the rings. So I could only find one of my rings on this section down here, probably because the grass is a bit long, but it's going to be really difficult to make out because of the dappled light, but it's right on the edge here in between where the shade and the light is. And if we look closely, we will see, look, they're popping up down here as well. Really excited. They're one of my favorite mushrooms. I mean, there's another nice big one there. And you can see how the ring carries on round. There's another one there that's a bit, bit old. But they're one of my favorite mushrooms. They're really meaty. A nice meaty mushroom. When you find them in numbers like this, it makes the whole harvesting and processing because obviously we'll we'll save these we're not going to have all these for our dinner tonight we'll uh, preserve a lot of these and it makes that whole process a lot more sort of cost effective time wise if you can do a nice big bundle at a time because i couldn't really show you there i'll just take you back to one of the other examples and just show you that ring 
And this is how you can be looking out for St. George's mushrooms even before they're fruiting. Now this ring I'm about to show you is clear to me and I can see this all year round. Can you see the difference in colour there of that ringed area? And down here by my feet there's a much clearer example. It's an almost exact circle. And that tells me that there's mushrooms there, there's my, a mycelial web under there, there's you know, a mushroom plant, a nice big one under there and it's going to gradually expand out. So there is something I can spot all year round and just that difference in the colour of the grass, you can spot two or three little areas all down through here. So that's what's told me, even though I've never found St George's mushrooms in this spot before, that's what's told me, well, as soon as I found one, to check all those different areas because that's where they're going to grow. Those are their early warning signs and like I say, those signs are available all the time. They're useful for all grassland species. I spoke about this in my giant puffball foraging video, which again I'll link to in the notes. Again, it's a great way of of, you know keeping your mushroom hunting excitement going all year round because you don't have to wait for them to pop out to be spotting potential sites and then if you're on a Facebook group for example that is a mushroom hunting group then you'll notice other people popping pictures of their St George's mushrooms up and you all know right now's the time to, time to go and check my spots or later in the year they might be posting pictures of their giant puffballs and again you'll know where to go and look and the same goes for field mushrooms anything like that fairy ring champignons so it's really worthwhile just keeping your eyes open it's a it's a grassland spotting trick but there's a lot of mushrooms that that's the habitat they grow in so I'm gonna get in and dehydrate all these to save them for later in the year and I will speak to you guys real soon cheers <laughs>